Hi all, today we are going to discuss about how to calculate the CFM of the room. So CFM is nothing but cubic feet per minute. Okay, uh, CFM is equal to volume of the room into air changes per hour divided by 60. This is the standard formula. So if you know the uh, C, uh, if you want to calculate the air changes per hour from this uh, formula, you have to know the CFM. Okay, in case if if uh, if if you know the CFM of the fan. So you can easily uh, measure the air changes per hour from by using this formula, right? So uh, let us consider, okay? Let us consider this is uh, one of uh, the room, okay? The length of the room is 10 and width of the room is 10 and height of the room is 10. So volume of the room is nothing but length into width into height. So 10, uh, all, all uh, measurement in uh, feet only. So 10 into 10 into 10, so totally 1000. 1000 cubic feet okay so we know the volume of the room so and what is that air changes per hour air changes per hour is nothing but and air changes is how the air okay how the air enter or exit from the hvac system in a one hour is called air changes per hour simple okay in case this is a hvac system no this is a hvac system okay air enter or exit from the, this is a user and no, this, is, this may be evaporator coil. So air enter or exit from the evaporator coil in a one hour is called air changes per hour. Okay. This air changes per hour will depends on the room temperature and uh, uh, this this air changes per hour definitely depends on the room temperature. If, if the temperature is low, no. If the temperature is 25 or 20, say 24, no. The air changes per hour is will be a minimum. If that air temperature of the room is maybe high or just like 28 or 29, the air changes per hour, it, it required more ch air changes per hour. So it all depends on the uh, room temperature. But however, there will be a one standard uh, table is there to uh, assume the air changes per hour. This is the standard table. So I just, I am going to show you. See, this is a typical air changes per hour table. See, this is the residential, in residential basement, bedroom and bathroom, and kitchen, laundry. So there is the, uh, see, the, there is bedroom, no, bedroom, 5 to 6 air changes hour, hour per record. This is the standard one, but it will, uh, depends, it will uh, change based on the room temperature. But you have to call it, if, if you know the, uh, if you want to buy one exhaust fan or if you want to uh, uh, find out the same of the particular room. So you have to mention, you, uh, you have to take this value, it will be, definitely it will, um, uh, you can get the CFM, right? And then office, in office, business office and the lunch break uh, rooms and conference room and medicals and main computer room, smoking area. So all I have... Uh, uh, Included in this air changes per hour table. This is a standard table. This is not written by me. This is uh, this is will be available in all HVAC system. Okay. At the restaurant, uh, restaurant. This is the dining area and food stages and kitchens, bar. So bars required uh, almost uh, 15 to 20 air changes per hour is required. So and then uh, public buildings. That is uh, retail stores, foyers, restrooms, auditoriums, smoking room, smoking rooms is etc etc. So you just you have to uh, remember that table uh, during the uh, calculating of the, the CFM. Okay, CFM you know no CFM that is the air flow that is the air flow. Uh, we, we just we measured in the cubic foot, uh, feet per minute. Actually this CFM also will be uh, measured by uh, uh, PSI. Okay, that is uh, pounds per square inch. No, both are the uh, velocity of the velocity velocity of the air flow. Right. Both are, that is the measurement uh, simple so let's let's come to our topic uh, we know the uh, volume of the room right volume of the room is uh, 1000 and air changes per hour let us take as 5 uh, actually i i took the uh, let us consider it is a bedroom the bedroom there is a 5 to 6 air changes per hour is required so i am taking the minimum value that is 5 i just entered here and then 60 this is the formula and then overall uh, what do you get 500 by 6, 83.33, let us take uh, 86, uh, 80, 84. So, for this room, for this particular room, uh, for 10 feet length or 10 feet width or 10 feet height, for that particular bedroom, it's required only 84 CFM, okay? Okay? So, this video definitely will help you. I hope uh, this video definitely will ha help, help us. 
so uh, if you if you don't subscribe my channel do please subscribe my channel immediately so this is the my uh, one of the first uh, video uh, which uh, took in english actually i am from uh, tamil nadu so this is uh, my first uh, video uh, it, take, uh, it took in uh, uh, english so thank you bye bye so if you have any concern if you have any doubt you just drop out or just comment in the comment box we will note the info so bye bye